If none, I will now accept the comments by the incoming president. between me and the end of this meeting and the raffle, so I'll try to be brief. <laughs> Good morning, fellow supervisors. Morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited that you've chosen me to become the next VACO president. It is with honor that I accept the presidency of the Virginia Association of Counties. But before I make a few comments about our association and, and the upcoming year, I'd like to, like to thank some of the very important people I would like to thank my wife, the former Deborah Frazier of Fauquier County, who will be walking this path with me this year. Deborah, if you'll stand and be recognized. <laughs> I'd also, also like to say that we have five children, three graduated from Virginia Tech, <laughs> one graduated from Perham, and one currently at Radford. My family is what inspires me. Without their patience and support, I would not be here today to accept this honor. To them I say thank you and I love you. If you know me, then you know that what my faith is what drives me every day. Every decision I make, I do it with God's guidance. My faith directed me to serve my community. Now I'm ready to serve VACO and each individual member and our great association. I'd like to thank my fellow Dinwiddie County Board members, to Mark Moore, William Chavis, Daniel Lee, and Brenda E. Braun Bonner. We've been together for only two short years, but we've, in those two short years, we've accomplished quite a bit. But I'd like the, uh, Brenda Bonner to stand and Daniel Lee, they're here this morning, and be recognized. And also to our county administrator, Kevin Massengill. Thank you for your service to the board and the citizens of Dinwiddie. Kevin, if you stand. <laughs> you are a great leader and you keep us focused on our mission. I feel blessed to come from the great state of Virginia. I would not want to live anywhere else. It's where I, where I have a farm. It's where I've raised my children, it's where I worship my God, and it's where I serve my community. In Dinwiddie County, we have a good mix of rural and big city issues. I've been a supervisor on the board since 1987, and I believe my experiences have prepared me well to lead the Virginia Association of Counties. One of my priorities this year is to implement the new strategic plan that will lead us into the future. This plan has already helped shape our thinking about the future. I know that our advocacy and educational programs will be big com components in VACO for the years to come. I want to make sure every supervisor is offered educational opportunities to become a better public servant. VACO should be a place where elected, official, elected officials and county staff turn to for answers, for guidance, and for collaboration. And when I say VACO, I just don't mean the staff. I mean all of us. We can be an educational resource for each other. We need to be better in sharing information and sharing solutions. VACO should be our educational hub. I also want to continue our efforts to work for counties at the state and national levels. There are many issues critical to counties, like the local business tax, transportation, and, this, and pension reform that will be debated in the upcoming year. VACO and I need your help to not only lobby legislators, but to also talk to your constituents to explain to them the issue and VACO's position. I think there are times VACO takes a position that helps counties save money or govern better or spare <coughs> citizens additional taxes, but I don't always think our constituents understand for the reason for our stance. I believe we need to do a better job in explain, explaining why we support VACO's position on certain issues. In turn, I think VACO can empower us better with more 
education on the issues. So it is with great enthusiasm I look forward to leading VACO in 2014. Please know that I'm available for your questions and concerns. I hope I can also seek your counsel and guidance as well. Thank you, and may God bless you all.